All right, so I recently wrote this book, Email Copywriting Prompts for Beginners. And I wanted to share four pro tips that I included in this book that can help you improve your email copywriting skills and get to the point where you're making more money for you and your clients with your email copywriting. If you don't already know, my name's Mike Nardi. I am a Fiverr pro copywriter with almost a thousand completed copywriting projects on Fiverr. And I also come from a tech sales background of almost 10 years of experience. The four tips I'm gonna share with you from my book come from years of experience, years of trial and error, and years of experimentation to see what worked best with all the clients I've helped throughout the years. They're in this book and I'm gonna give you four of them for free today. So tip number one, comes from the sales email section of this book. And that first tip is to use Google to try to find past examples of past results or past successes the person you're targeting with your copy had that you can try to use to encourage them to hire you so you can help them get better results this time around. For example, if you're writing an email campaign for a landscaping company targeting new clients, Google them. See how many reviews they got on Google in the past year. See how many testimonials they added to their website or how many case studies with pictures of successful jobs they've completed. Then use this information in the copy you write for them to try to convince new clients to hire them this year. This is an example of social proof and it's a great way to convince people to take action. So that's tip number one. Tip number two comes from the autoresponder section of the book. So if you are trying to write a solid autoresponder campaign for your client, here's a great hack. First, you wanna find out who your client's biggest competitors are. Their biggest competitors, the companies that your client strives to be like, the people and businesses who just dominate the industry. Figure out who they are, then visit their website and submit your name and email to whatever lead capture form they have present on their website. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna get autoresponder emails from the best of the best in your client's industry. Don't copy them, but use them to get an idea of what's working for the best example of your customer's type of company in their industry. Then use the information you've gathered from the autoresponder campaigns you've been getting emails from and use that to write amazing copy for your clients. Tip number three comes from the email newsletter section of my book. This tip has to do with writing email newsletters for your clients that both resonate really, really well with their target audience for the newsletter and does a good job convincing them to take action on whatever call to action or product they're selling or promoting in that newsletter. What you wanna do is go to Reddit and find communities where the types of people who receive your client's newsletters hang out and chat. Spend some time reading through all the posts in the subreddit. Primarily, I would focus on posts that are rising or top posts in those specific communities. Then read all the comments. If it's a huge thread, just read some of the comments. Spend some time getting a feel for what people are talking about and what people care about in that specific community. Once you've spent some time doing that and you've gotten a feel for what this particular group of people who sign up for this newsletter are interested in, pick one topic, one idea, or one theme that you picked up on from that subreddit and make that the main portion, the meat and potatoes of your newsletter. That'll be something interesting that a lot of people who subscribe to that email newsletter are already interested in. And you know this because you've gone to where they hang out in their community in Reddit and you've done your research. If you do this successfully, it'll make the newsletters you write a lot better. It, they'll be more interesting to their readers. People will be more engaged throughout the entire email newsletter and it'll give your clients a better chance of keeping people hooked until they get to that call to action or product that is inserted in that newsletter. It is a great strategy. Tip number four is to pay attention to all of the different ads you noticed your client's competitors are running. For example, if you're writing a sales or marketing email for a client that sells nutritional supplements. In the book, I list an example where it's a company that offers a mushroom-based drink 
intended or whose goal is to replace coffee in coffee drinkers lives. You've probably seen ads for this type of company all over the internet lately. Sometimes what you'll notice is similar types of trendy companies like all of these different mushroom style drinks will run similar ads that hit on similar copy, similar talking points, similar themes to try to convince people to come over from the competition. This is a great opportunity for you. It's kind of like a situation where if they're zigging, you're zagging. Use these themes and trends you're noticing in competitors' ads to maybe write some tongue-in-cheek copy that kind of pokes fun at these ads without actually poking fun at these ads. If you're from the 90s or early 2000s, you might remember how Apple used to make a bunch of hilarious ads where they poked fun at Microsoft. It's a great way to showcase your clients' products or services by literally doing the opposite of what everyone else is doing in kind of a funny, satirical way. So guys, you really need to think outside the box when you're writing email copy. The tips in this video will help you do that. Take what others are doing as inspiration. Figure out what the norm is, then flip the norm on its head to come up with something new. Go to communities where the target audience of your copy hang out and do some guerrilla research to see what they're talking about so that you can write copy that really hits home for what they care about and what is on their mind at this given time. Use these tips and you will probably start writing some better email copy. And if you love these tips and you wanna get more of them, be sure to pick up a copy of my book on Amazon. Of course, there's a link in the description. I think you'll find it really helpful. Anyways, thanks for sticking with me through this video. I love you guys. Until next time, cheers.